Hello everybody, we're out here rolling. We're gonna try some beans right here now this afternoon. We had about six, seven tenths of rain here the other day. Um, these are probably our farthest along beans. We're just getting a feel for them. Uh, on the end rows, they're not quite as ready, but we're thinking out in the field we can we can get a little bit in there. So I'm gonna drive out and uh, and check out on those. See the beans are taking a nice grayish color, finishing out. Far, this is one of our farms. We farm around two windmills on. Coming up here, it looks like they're stopped with the cart and the combine right there. You can see that up ahead. Uh oh, I see some shields up. Looks like we maybe have something going on. Caught us broken down at the beginning. Yeah, I don't know why. Three acres in. Three acres. Three acres is all we've got done, so. so you can tell the stems are a bit green on there, but but the beans inside the pods they're about 13% already, so there it's it's ready to roll. We got rolling here uh got maybe something we didn't get quite tightened down or quite ready to ready to roll so we're just looking over to see what we could have missed um i'm just out stopping by so i'm gonna i might come out later when they when they get rolling again if they keep rolling decide to figure out what's going on here so well here garrett i uh, just here's my old iphone 7 not real great pictures but i guess we thought you'd get the beginning of combining in here uh, you'll probably be here later to take some high quality video, but, uh, but uh, just a little teaser for all your fans, all the, all your fans have missed me combining, so here we are. I'll maybe see if I can't catch a video of Michael catching me here, see how that works. Pretty good parallel. We're jam packed in here and we're about cleaned out in here. Pretty quiet until one of them sees me. They're pretty quiet right now. There are not many in here. We have about one one load out of here left. Um, and then they'll be they'll be empty. They're still marked, so there's there'll be there'll be a little bit of sorting that to do, but for the most part they're they're done. They might might compartmentalize them differently to see the few that are not. Not Mark. Um, we've been moving some feet around, uh, having trouble getting feet at the right time. We need it. Just, uh, just keeping that all gone. I mean, we all like to sit on uh, old feet. All your chicks wondering. My free Chevy T-shirt I got at the Minnesota State Fair. Went up there a couple weekends ago. It was a pretty good fair. Not enough machinery. Not enough livestock for my taste. Still a good fair. Uh, thanks to my buddy Nathan for, for taking me up there and showing me around. Lots of good beer, I will say that. That is one thing they got good going for them. One thing I know I don't show enough uh, in doing hog chores here, um, and anymore you can see at the bottom, but the, the funnel down at the bottom with other, other bulk bins here uh, shows if there's feed in the bottom that's going through. 
and a good thing to do to check uh, a good just at this level where you're standing right next to the bulk bin a good thing to check is just to pound on it and see if there's any obviously there's nothing in there this one's empty but the good thing to do is just pound on that see if there's any feed in the bulk bin uh, that you're getting out of uh, so I get, get an idea of how much is in there um, sometimes you like to bang on it just to kind of get stuff moving if uh, maybe they left the lid open or they got moisture in there kind of wet or feed something like that but I think I think at this site here at home we don't have any feed right now at all they were out of feed in the feeders uh, the bulk bins are empty so uh, need some feed to help finish these pigs out uh, we don't need that much because they won't be here that much longer I have alluded to this before um, I said it once in one video one time I've moved positions I'm now doing John Deere sales large egg sales and a uh, big part of what I need to do this fall is a uh, customer ride along just to build a relationship with a customer I'm gonna go out and ride the combine with the customer right now I'm rolling on beans I'm gonna go get around and maybe just do some networking you know get to know your customers that's all part of the experience we're in hurry up and wait mode right now. We just finished up uh, around my home place over there. I've got the combine behind me parked at our, our hog barn south of mom and dad's. Well, on the yard, but on the farm place just south of the house. Tried ripping into a new new 80. Um, just not quite ready along yet. Uh, we got to give it more time. So we might go drive around a little bit and uh, go engage where everything else is. Just see what see where we're at. Keep an eye out looking at beans. Beans are sure dry enough. The beans is, but the stems are awful darn, awful darn green yet. So we'd be just messing around, kind of moving around. The beans all would have gotten fungicide on them, insecticide. They would have—they're no-till beans, so they're—they started off pretty rough with how cold it was. There's just a lot of factors playing into how they're still green yet. Well, will they go? Will the beans go? Well, we're gonna go try an 80 down south, one of our southernmost farms. Give it a go, it's now all or nothing. We're getting rolling here. I'm taking off in the cart, the track combine, and the head just left. Getting ready to take off here. Make sure we're dialed in, ready to go full speed. And away we go. Just getting open up here. Got enough open up. We can get around and get out with the head cart. Jim, Jim's in there. Gonna go back. Probably grab a truck. I'll get in here and uh, get dumped on by the combine once we got enough, and just get open her up. Open her up. Let's roll. This will be really the first time I I get in and go driving this new tractor in, in the grain car. I mean, I drove it all fall on a high speed disc last last fall for demos, but uh, this is. Uh, this will be the first time on our farm I'll really get in and be able to drive it, so I'm looking forward to that. doing about nine percent through the field 22 on the ends so uh average out i guess unless something super exciting happens uh we're gonna keep trying to go here on this field tonight uh don't have much to do through the field they're uh they're they're ready to go on the end rows they're not so much ready to go so we're just uh just kind of messing around here seeing what we got and we'll probably uh we'll probably do that for a little while longer until a truck here get, get a load kind of average everything out but that'll be I'll probably be it for tonight, um, probably again in the morning. Uh, with that, I'll probably close out this video. i got enough, enough other stuff going on, so hopefully you keep getting a lot of fall footage here. Everyone have a safe, 
safe harvest. I hope everyone gets uh, good yields. The way those things are sound, they'd be good. So, thanks everybody. You want to show everyone your homecoming tattoo? What's it say? It says, go team. Go team. What's, what's our team? Uh, Wolverines. Wolverines, that's right. <laughs>